<laughs> hey everybody, it's Jay and welcome to Simply Gorgeous, Simply Me, Simply Gorgeous. And today I'm coming to show you guys um, my new sewing and um, to show off my new hair color. <laughs> Two in one. Um, I just dyed my hair a natural black so that when I do do partial sew-ins, I can leave part of my hair out and have it blend more easily with weaves than um, my regular color was. So yeah. Um, let's see. Um, okay, so I'm not holding it the whole entire time. So this is my hair, you guys. And this is my one of my favorite styles to do with my hair. Besides, like putting a, a um, headband on in the front or whatnot, and it's to pull like part my hair down the middle, or sometimes I part it to the side and whatnot, and twist it back into two twists and kind of bobby pin it right here, and then let the rest of it flow free. Um. So yeah. This, okay, so let me try to cover all the basics so that I know that, you know, you guys ask a lot, like, what type of hair is it, what color is it, how long is it, whatnot. Okay, so I'm using a new brand. Um, this is my first time ever using this hair, and it's made by Urban Beauty, and it's the Jerry Curl um, hair. One of them is Platinum, the Platinum brand, which is, I think, the one on the bottom, which is a looser curl pattern. And then the top one is just the regular, and it's a really tighter curl. So, if you guys have seen me with natural hair videos to see my natural hair, you would know the top part of my hair is really tight curl. The bottom part of my hair is more loose because of some heat damage and it's not completely straight but it's not super curly defined tight curls so yeah a lot of people think that this is my real hair so I'm super excited that a lot of people think you know you know Jay your hair is so pretty or Jessica you know whatever super excited about that but it's in a color 1B. I have noticed though, like looking at the hair now, that the platinum, the one that's more loose of a curl, is actually a 1B. And the um, curl that's at the top, the one that's like the regular brand, it almost looks like it could be borderline 2. It, very, it has more brown, a little bit more brown in it than actual black. Um... So yeah, I paid, okay, the one at the bottom, which is the looser curl, is 10 inches, and the one at the top is 12. <laughs> yeah. So for the 10 inch, I paid $13.99 for it, no, $12.99 for it, and then the one at the top, which is the 12 inch, I paid $16.99. So all in all, rounding up, it's about $30 for two packs of hair. Um... Could I have done a full sew in with those two packs of hair? Really don't think so. Because this is a partial and I may have like this much of one and like probably like the same amount left of each one. So I can imagine if I had not left any of my hair out. But also I did do the tracks really close together too. So kind of iffy on it. I don't know. How do I feel about Urban Beauty's hair? Um, I've only had it in since Sunday. Today is Friday. So this honey will mark the one week period. Um, it's okay. It does shed a lot. But I did not um, seal my wax or anything like that. And not only notice shedding when I'm actually like putting product in it and raking my hands through. And it's not like a ridiculously huge amount of shedding. Um, how long am I going to keep this on? Well, I'm being realistic with it. $30 for two packs of hair. Could I really see myself keeping it for four weeks, five weeks, six weeks? No. I'm hoping at the most to keep it for two. 
three weeks, but I know that probably will be pushing it a little bit. Um, am I going to wash this hair? No. <laughs> I really don't plan on keeping it. Okay, sorry about that. I don't really plan on washing this hair because I'm only keeping it in for a short period of time. So to me, it's not really worth the time and the hassle to go through washing, um, detangling, that sort of thing, conditioning, whatnot. So yeah, I just feel like if you get a weave and you pay a certain price for it, you should have realistic expectations for a said weave. Third. Sorry if you hear her in the background. $30 for two packs of weave to me is a short term hairstyle, what have you. It is 100% human hair. So yeah, I'm pretty sure you could wash it, but I don't know how that would do with the curl pattern, the effectiveness of it or whatnot. So yeah. Um, normally I wouldn't write my hair like this if I'm feeling festive. You can get me a little flower, which I know is my little signature thing. Put a little flower on the side. Hey, you know, I'm rocking it. What, baby? Hold on one second, you guys. Hey, yeah, so that's how I normally rock it through the week or whatnot. If I want to, I'll just like wear hair all straight back and then I'll just throw a ponytail. I mean, not a ponytail, uh -uh, a headband on. In the frame. Um, trying to think of everything you guys probably asked me. How do I maintain this hair? Okay, so every night and every morning, I wake up. I spray my hair down with water. Even the weave. Spray it with water. Um... Then mostly concentrating on where my hair has been left out, I apply my leave-in conditioner mix that I make. Um, a little bit of Hawaiian Silky. Then I apply my Ion Curl Solutions Curl Shaping Cream, which I get at Sally's. It's like this in the green bottle. It's very, very good. I love this stuff. I actually apply this to both my regular hair and the weave. I do notice that when I apply this to it, the curl is like, bam. And it really does match my hair texture a little bit more. But I apply this. And then I just seal the top part of my hair with oil um, to slick down my edges. As you can see, they're not really slicked down today. I wasn't really focused on all that and plus it's been a rough day in and out of places whatnot what have you and i feel like when my hair isn't totally molded and slicked down it does really appear more natural to me i just um use the garnier fructis uh style curly curl shaping spray gel um so because it is you know still considered like summertime is kind of moving on into fall and this gel is very lightweight to me for my hair. It really does hold a curl without weighing my hair down, which is like one of my new faves or whatever. So I do that in the morning times. In the afternoon or in the evenings, I do the same thing, except I don't put on the gel. And then I just take my hair and I twist it in big twists. And I put on my satin bonnet and I go to sleep. Um, the reason I do apply water is because when it's in the satin bond, it may be up, turned to the side, whatever. And so when I take it out of the twist, it is not just falling straight down. Um, take off my little sweater thing. So, I can show you more accurately. It's 10 inches, so it hits me when, you, you see where it hits me. Really, my regular hair, when, um... When it's down or whatnot, and I'm doing like a wash and go or whatever, it shrinks a lot. So my actual hair falls like maybe right a little bit above my shoulders. Um, when I stretch it out, it hits about right here. Yeah. 
Um, so yeah, I didn't trim, I'm thinking I may cut these ends just a little bit so that they're not as long and stringy for the next week or whatnot. I don't know, we'll see. Um, but yeah, so let me take my, I take my bobby pants out at night and since it is nighttime, I'm not really going anywhere else. I'm going to show you um, my hair so you can see my new hair color. If you guys are new to my channel and you don't follow me or whatnot, my hair was like a reddish brown. This is my hair color now. And I did um, my whole head this color, even though most of it is like, you know, protected and whatnot. I do like to sleep my wine moisturize. I do try to keep my little twist that I make in simply because it's so much easier to do in the morning time than trying to re sculpt the twist or whatnot. Even though I may take it out. Well, I can show you real quick. You guys saw how that was. I'm just gonna, because my hair is dry right now, I'm just gonna wet my hair. In the front. I just want to kind of get it a little lubricated. So like if I wanted to really without doing the twist I could I, you know you have to shape your hair up and all that stuff. But I could like you know rock it this way which is the part right there. But um I I personally don't do that because I feel like it would have to be too much blending. Like I would have to layer it in and all that stuff. I didn't cut any of the hair, so I guess that was like me being lazy or whatnot. But and yes, my natural hair frizzes up when it just has water. It's just like frizzy. Not curly, whatnot. But um, yeah, I just do that. Get a headband, and then I normally don't apply gel to my hair like this. I put my headband in, and let me take my reins off so I can show you more. So how I plan. I'll just go ahead while I'm taking my leave-in conditioner mix that I need to make some more of. Hawaiian Silky. Okay, maybe I should really take the headband off because I'm getting stuff in the headband. I see, if you can see, like, this is just from adding, like, my moisturizer. And you can see it's building that curl. So my hair is like naturally curly. Then my curl shaping gel by Ion, which smells great and it's a consistency like this. Sometimes I move my, like I pull my hair out in the front. I'll show you guys. I think I'm really in need of a trim. But I'll trim when I take the sewing out. But that's like with the curl shaping gel. Just add my little oil. And normally right after this I would do the um the gel 
just so you know it can get that hole. I am noticing um, that my hair is, or the the weave is matting up a little bit in the back. But since it's you know so curly, you really can't see it. So like I said, I don't. It may be mad up a little bit more because I actually wore a shirt, my sweater today. I actually wore that um, that sweater today. So, and then I just take it, put my headband on, like so. I just kind of fluff and style around it. Normally, I have more of my hair going like that this way. But I've only worn it with the headband like twice. This isn't like my regular go-to style or whatever. But so yeah. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna get a finger comb for you guys. It's back. It's more so, yeah. Like I said, I knew that it's gonna. I know that it's gonna match because the hair isn't like I guess like ridiculously expensive or whatnot. So do I expect manning? Yes. Do I expect shedding? Of course. I don't do a lot of fair homing. I don't work at a desk. I work with babies all day. So, like I said, today it's a little bit worse because it really is kind of matted up from where it's been rubbing on that sweater. Uh, I guess the main question is would I repurchase this hair again? Yes. If I went in a simple style, I may, I would actually probably more so use this hair to make a wig, I guess, than a sewing. Because you can take it off and that probably would preserve the hair a little bit more. Uh, next time, I would be more careful and pay attention to the names on the packs. Because, although, you know, it does really blend in with my regular hair or whatnot. It's still nice to have one whole head of the same type of curl in your head. And plus, I think with the the different type of brand or whatever it is, that um, I guess you guys can see a little close up the top and then how the bottom looks. Um, it'd be more so like, I guess, the same color. Okay, so here goes. Finger combing my hair. This much. And normally it's less than this, but like I said, it did mat up a little bit in the back. But even then, finger combing it wasn't like out, wasn't like super difficult. So yeah. Like I said, probably soon I may cut, you know, the ends. I may cut it after two weeks or next Sunday. Um, not this Sunday, Sunday coming up, but next Sunday. Um, I may cut it just to preserve the hair a little longer. And I kind of want to show you guys something. So you see this? How the curls are kind of like less defined. Try to hurry up before it since my camera cuts off. So I add water to it. And even adding water to it makes it a little bit better. Take my little, I just take it like a small little bit. So I'm gonna show you the hair. That's after adding that curling cream, and when it dries up, it's gonna still go back to that perfect curl. So I love that stuff, and it's not super expensive. It's like five. 
If you have a Sally's Club card, it's $5.39. Without it, it's almost like $6 or whatever. But it lasts like a long time. Even like using it on my regular hair. I was using that every day. Using it on Jayla's hair. And I've had it since June. And it's the beginning of September. Like September 9th. So I still have, you know, a little bit left of it. I will be going to get some more. But I just wanted to come and show you guys my hair, my salon. If you follow me on Facebook, um, you would you have seen pictures of it already. Um, take this head man off. Uh, I do have a Facebook page, not my fan page, but like if you want to request me as a friend, I'm still in the midst of working on it and getting it all set up. Um, so yeah. I'll leave a link to the page below if you guys want to add me as a friend. I'm thinking about, considering about after my um, giveaway is over with, closing my Facebook fan page just because it, I don't really update it as much. It's connected to my um, my regular user account and I, I never kind of go to it. So yeah, I don't know yet. So, I'll leave all the links on how you can follow me or whatever down below in the info description box. But yeah, that's it. So, until next time you guys. Bye.